Hello. <coughs> okay. So I've been trying to record this video for like ever. I recorded it yesterday and accidentally deleted it. I did delete a bunch of stuff yesterday because the memory on this computer um, got all filled up and nothing was recording, nothing was saving. Um, basically, it is my own personal journey with being gay or my sexuality. Um, as you guys know, I am a lesbian, I identify as a lesbian. Um, I guess it started, I guess, I don't know if it really started, but for as long as I can remember, I've watched gay things, I guess, like Degrassi, shows that have like gay positive characters. Like Degrassi, it was south of nowhere. Dawson's Creek. Which I know wasn't actually 18 in it or at the end show. But it still, for me, it still was on the end at like 4 in the morning. They used to record it and get it the next day. <coughs> but, um,. I didn't really think about my sexuality or any of that until I was about 15 and you guys know the story. A girl named Amanda, she was in my PE class, she asked me out. I had an existential crisis for the first time, it lasted about three days. That's not all the time we have for today, that just means it's 11.45 a.m. <laughs> um, but pretty much that entire year, I was in an existential crisis and I didn't even know that I was until I thought about it. I guess. I spent that entire year thinking, like whenever a pretty woman would be on the TV and it would turn me on, I would think to myself, it's okay, it's fine, you're just hormonal. When a guy comes on the TV, you'll be fine. I don't know what that was. That... My foot <laughs> just it had this shock that went right through it. Um, but then a guy would come on the TV and it would have the same effect. And I would be like, I would think to myself, see, you're normal. Don't worry about it. And, I remember I played this um, online RPG game called I'm Vio. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's, um, it's a 3D RPG avatar based game. And I remember toggling through confused, bisexual, and straight. Because I, I wasn't really comfortable putting one or the other. And even though that these, even though they were complete strangers, there was always that fear that if I kept it on bisexual or confused, that somebody from school would find out. And at this point, nothing had really happened at school. And uh, the bullying and the harassing and shit had started, and I don't think it was at all due to the fact that. I'm gay. I don't think really anybody knew except for maybe a couple of people in the hallways who heard me and then talking about it. And maybe a teacher or two. I don't know. That's besides the point. <laughs> that was more of a me thing that just happened. Um, and it just basically went like that. I did that, I googled, or whatever, am I gay, I w was online a lot looking at that and trying to figure it out that entire year, and I didn't really think much of it. But 
And I kind of I stopped after a while. Um, and then I went to Montana and Mm. <laughs> like I think about it again until I joined the club, um, Gay Straight Alliance. They didn't. I don't think that they had that at my old school, but they have it. At, they had it at my new school, so I joined it because I mean, gay and I, I still support the LGBT Q plus. <laughs> um. So that's that. Um, I kind of put myself in the closet after a while. That first year, I mean, I came out to my mom and my, or oh, my aunt, my mom and um, Amanda, obviously. And I kind of put myself in the closet at the new house we had moved, and somehow me and my brother and my mom were talking about the possibility of me being gay and. I just started sweating, my stomach did a flip, and I got all defensive, and I said no, and my mom was like, oh, it'd be okay if you were, but I would insist that you stop watching so much Degrassi. And it's, what, how many years later and I still watch Degrassi? <laughs> um, I kind of shut the door, and I went so deep in that I myself believed that I was straight. until I looked at some of the websites that were on the board. Because the GSA club, it was just me and a girl from my photography class and a friend that I made at school. And we were all in this one room in the library. It was very small, it was like a conference room. And there would be webs links to websites on the backboard or whiteboard. And that's how I realized that, or that's how I started thinking about it again. And I started watching Glee. It was the Michael episode, Dr. Michael episode. I never really even thought of Glee or liked Glee until I started watching it and I just became obsessed with it because it it's a, it was an awesome show. I loved it a lot <laughs> and it kickstarted my addiction to gay positive shows such as Chris Volk and The L Word and Shameless <laughs> and Pretty much every other thing. Um, I didn't come out myself again until I was 19. And I remember I was watching Glee. Um, I had been been watching it because I hadn't seen all the episodes. I'd just seen the Michael episode and a few other episodes while I was still living with my dad. And it was, um, I kissed a girl, and Quinn was singing to Santana. I have a hair, and it's fucking the fuck out of me. I don't know who it is. <laughs> um, and I started crying, and I don't know why it took me so long to get to the place where I can say I'm gay and that's okay and yeah it took glee to make me realize that and I'm glad that I did realize that why did it get so dark all of a sudden hold on There we go. Okay. Um. But. Yeah. And. I guess. 
the first person that I actually came out to came out to after that was my brother's friends. They used to make gay, gay jokes a lot and it would annoy me and one day I just said, hey, stop that, it offends me because I'm gay. And then they just stopped. They're more cautious about when they do it now, but let me see. I did what I could. <laughs> they stopped making them in front of me for the most part. And um, last year, um, I can't, oh god, June 25th I think was the day that gay marriage was like, let's not these dates, I can't remember, don't kill me people. Um, I know that it was last year around June, I believe, I do believe. And that day, I came out online as bisexual and I got a couple of positive messages on Facebook, but I don't think anybody would have really said anything negative because I'm friends with her mom on Facebook and of course she said, oh sweetie, I already knew, lol. <laughs> I think if anybody had said anything negative, my mom probably would have chewed their ass out. Um, and then this past year, from about last summer up until a couple months ago. Um, I have, I had a couple of uh, sexual experiences with men and women, not together, <laughs> um, but I found out that I'm a lesbian, I don't like sex with men as much as I do women. Sex with men has never really been comfortable for me, I don't know why it just hasn't. But with women, well, really, just one woman, it was amazing, and I felt loved, which is how you're supposed to feel your first time, and that was my first time with a woman. Even though we didn't have a relationship. And we only talked for about a month or two. It was still amazing. Not just, <laughs> I meant the love I felt. I don't know. I just know that I'd never felt like that before. And that's okay. I'm a lesbian. I'm just not sexually attracted to men, I guess. And maybe one day I will find a man that I do have, feel comfortable having sex with. But until then, I'm going to identify as lesbian. And I may never find a guy like that. I may, I don't know. Sexuality is fluid, and so far there hasn't really been a man who I am comfortable having sex with. So, I guess the moral of the story is sexuality is fluid, it's okay to be confused, figure things out when you're young, and don't put yourself in the closet, but also don't let anybody tell you when it's time to come out. I love you guys all so very much and I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope this recorded right.